The Prime Pad series of Trendelenburg pads and kits, available from Prime Medical, are indicated for Trendelenburg, reverse Trendelenburg, and lateral tilt positioning. Before placing the Prime Pad on the OR mattress, please ensure that the OR mattress itself is fully attached to the OR table, that it is clean and dry, and that there are no other materials between the OR mattress and the Prime Pad. When placing the prime pad on the OR mattress, align the prime pad's perineal cutout with the perineal cutout of the OR mattress. If using a prime pad with attached table rail straps, please ensure that the straps are on the underside of the pad and slide the table rail strap between the OR table and the table rail. Wrap the strap around the outside of the table rail and then fasten the strap back upon itself. Due to the extra length of the table rail straps, they can often be wrapped around the table rail twice before securing them back to the strap. To maximize the efficacy of the prime pad, ensure that maximum patient skin-to-pad contact with the prime pad is achieved. If using a draw or lift sheet for patient repositioning or for tucking the patient's arms, ensure that the patient's sacrum, torso, and shoulders are in direct contact with the prime pad. Ensure that the lift sheet is wide enough for safe and effective patient repositioning, but narrow enough to allow for maximum patient skin contact. There are several methods for repositioning the patient when required, and please follow your facility's internal protocols. A common method for safe and effective patient repositioning is to have a team member on each side of the patient using the lift sheet to assist with lifting the patient up and off of the pad, while the anesthesia provider lifts the patient's head and shoulders. If using a lift sheet to tuck the patient's arms, please do so following your facility's protocol once the patient is in the proper position. A common method for tucking the patient's arms is to first ensure the patient's arm is in the desired position. Then, wrap the lift sheet around the patient's arms and secure the lift sheet by tucking it back under the patient's torso. Many anesthesia providers prefer to use pillows for induction of anesthesia, but please note that the patient's shoulders can often rest on the pillow and are not in direct contact with the prime pad. If using a pillow for induction, please replace the pillow with a foam or gel head cradle or donut prior to placing the patient in Trendelenburg.